Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here today and I want to show you guys a really cool thing I recently downloaded today and that is the CryEngine SDK and basically it is a 3D rendering engine and it's for game, game development it's by Crytek so they made Crisis, Crisis 1, Crisis 2, and Crisis 3 um, if you're familiar with my channel that's what I started out playing and that's my very first videos on I love that game a ton and uh, while I was working on my latest video with just the blacklight montage, uh, I was looking for some element 3D stuff and some Maya stuff and some tutorials, and I was browsing around on the 3D end of things, and I rediscovered the Karangin SDK. Uh, so it's completely free. It's really cool. I'm going to use a bit of a later version just for convenience sake because I want to show you guys kind of what it's like. Um, it's really awesome. For you guys that uh, don't do any of this stuff, um, it's really cool to see and even if you guys do do it uh, it's still pretty interesting uh, to take a look at and see what it's really all about so we just load it right in and we got that all going I'm gonna go to woodland I think there we go uh, so keep in mind these are I guess these are basically it's, it's rendered real-time so um, if I'm correct you can also use other software with this somehow I read somewhere about that. I'm not too sure. You might have to uh, go to some other places or get some other versions. I'm not too positive on that, but uh, from what I read about it, it's really cool. And from my very brief playing around with it, it was awesome and really fun to do. So here we are. Um, once again, that's loud. Ah. And as you can see, we have already entered a rendered scene so all these things down here all these little objects you see that have these nodes on them these are all things that you can basically select and these are all objects which you can change your values on and anything on them much like in any type of 3d program typically though you want to import these objects um, you can probably change like you know the uv maps and all your different maps here your misks and your emitters and brushes and all that type of jazz so what I found so cool about this is that uh, like I previously said it's all rendered in real time uh, so you can kind of see over here this is all your specs uh, my computer is not the greatest I don't have a killer graphics card because I don't typically do too much 3d rendering and when I do I'm not doing uh, real-time 3d rendering at all um, I just usually typically leave something on and it'll do it and it'll do it in a reasonable amount of time uh, so it might tank in sort of frames per second when I spawn in, but uh, as kind of like a demo to show you guys what this is all about, uh, it's cool to see. So as you can see, the audio also plays, which is really nice. Uh, so basically, it's a fully edible game and game environment, um, and I rediscovered it and just in my free time, and it's really cool. I have to say, I was... Uh, I was really uh, shocked when I got to see this again, and the fact that it's completely free and you can download it, uh, you can even go download it right now if you want to, I'll probably just leave a link in the description, uh, it's really awesome. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun to experience, even if you don't do any of this stuff, it's fun to download if your computer can handle it, and most computers can, it's great. And as you can see, I can, you know, go right in some vegetation and it doesn't look too bad now this isn't rendered at the highest possible setting i don't believe but to see what it looks like and in a you know decent resolution uh it's really nice and you can see all your stuff your textures on the ground your effects and everything that's going on around you you can also even change the time of day and all this stuff i'm still discovering everything about it I just basically looked at this today, like I said, because I was discovering some other things, looking at some tutorials, and I remember hearing about this when it first came out several years ago, and it's cool. It's really awesome, and it's also really awesome because I love Crytek, because they make Crisis, and I'm a huge sucker for Crisis, and here's even some chickens. Anyways, though, I'll show you guys the water, because I thought the water was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's nice for real time. It's not the most crazy graphics in the world, mind you, but you don't want to have that when you have a renderer because your PC will melt, unless you have a uh, Titan. <laughs> and then, I guess you can do that, but have fun having a uh, ginormous hole in your wallet. In any case, though, I will show you guys 
It's been dragonflies. That's really cool. <laughs> I'll show you guys the really cool part of it, where you can do all your modeling here and implement stuff and add stuff and whatever else you want and see it all happening in real time. You can also switch to the game. So, as it implies switching to the game, you switch to it. And you are here in the game. I wonder what happens if you shoot the water. You even have splashes, which is pretty good. Um, my frame rate's not going to be super great, but uh, to show you guys what it's like, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, as I'm running around, I get frame rate drops. And I shot a chicken, so we're having chicken for dinner tonight, and it's really cool. I don't follow game stuff, so I don't know if this is happening all that much. If Unity is like this, or Unreal Engine 4, I'm sure it probably is. Uh, but it's cool to see nonetheless. And it's cool to interact, play with the uh, Crytek and CryEngine. And it's a lot of fun. So even here, you know, you can listen to sound effects. It's just awesome. Uh, and obviously, I'm getting some frame rate drops. But, uh, you know, you can, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. When I typically do um, video animation and video stuff and graphic design stuff, you don't see this part of things. And if you are creating stuff, you aren't rendering it out in a video game program. So even the shadows on your gun, which I'm looking at right now, like that's, that's pretty cool. And that's the really cool thing with most 3D programs. They seem so complex. But really, once you start using them, whether it's uh, as simple as a plugin for After Effects like Element 3D or uh, Zerworks Pro or whatever else, or it's Maya or Cinema 4D or um, 3DS Max, to even game designing software or like the CryEngine SDK or uh, Unity or Unreal Engine 4, all the 3D programs, what I begin realizing is that they are all extremely easy to use. When you go back to video, um, just basically 2D video compositing in something like After Effects, you're amazed when you go into 3D programs because how much it's automated for you. You know, you get your textures, you get your lights, and you're looking at the, you know, the occlusion on the, on the, and the reflection on the surfaces when you just basically add an environment map to it. And you're kind of shocked by how simple uh, it all is. And it's really cool to see how little effort you can put into something and how good it can look. And that's something really cool that I began noticing. And, you know, I do 3D modeling a bit. Not a ton, but, you know, I do it occasionally. And um, as it's something, you know, I'm hoping to get into more, into more, um, it's really cool to see all this stuff. So if you guys feel like checking this out, thing out i'll leave a description down the link below or something like that and uh, it's completely free so feel free to check it out if you have a decent computer um you should be able to run it and it's a lot of fun to play around in you can create your own scenes there's free uh, marketplace assets you can download and include in your scenes and overall it's really fun i'm getting a call right now so i hope you guys enjoy the video i'm gonna be going back to uh, my original project of editing my montage, but I want to give you guys a quick kind of video and showcase this because I'm really excited for it And I thought it was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time. Thanks Yep Access the